Hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome, sorry. Hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, if you've been here, thank you so much for sticking around. If you are new, welcome to my little side of YouTube. One moment. Hello? Who is Vivian? You guys keep calling me for Vivian. Who is Vivian? Anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my little corner of YouTube. If you've been here, you are the best. Anyway, so today is Friday, April 5th, and I just got back from work. I was looking at my plants because they're just budding and they're just like, they just look so good. Two of my plants had mold on them, so I had to clean the mold off. And then I sprinkled some cinnamon on it because cinnamon prevents more mold from um, growing on your plants, if you didn't know. So I just finished doing that. I am hungry. Um, so I'm about to make a quick snack and then also lunch. Yes, I'm having a snack and lunch. Big back? No, I'm hungry. All I had today was breakfast, which was eggs and a chicken sausage. And I had some 100 popcorn, 100 calorie popcorn, popcorn plus yogurt. I don't know why I can't get my words together. I think I had too much coffee. Anyway, I am about to make a pizza bagel and then I'm also going to have some chickpea pasta with some turkey bolognese sauce. Um, that's probably the only thing I'm really going to eat before I go to the gym in the evening because after I work out, I normally just have a rice cake and a protein shake. So that's why I'm eating so heavy. Plus, I only had one meal today. Um, I don't know why I'm rambling. Um, you guys, I got my car and it's just... Y'all, Carlos and Danny are here. We're about to go get the car. I'm gonna bring my camera with me. <laughs> yeah, Carlos is driving his new car. I'm gonna show y'all his new York car. Y'all remember the, the the Mustang? The Mustang is gone. Cherry is gone. Ruby is gone. Cause I called her all the two. Ruby is gone. Yes. He hasn't named the new one yet. Danny got money. I ain't got I no money. I'm the one that does not have a job. Out of you guys, this is my new baby. I haven't named her yet. I don't know if it's gonna be a her or a him. Pearl. Pearl. Yeah. So I got the peanut butter seats. Danny and I got some drinks from inside, but this is she, he. It's just, it's been the best. It's, it's just been the best. And I can't wait to show you guys and give you a mini tour of the car. But yeah, let me make something to eat. I ain't got no pants on, so I can't really drag y'all around. My shirt is long, but it's not that long. So, yes. Okay, pizza bagel. So I'm gonna use a low carb bagel that I enjoy. This is the low carb bagel that I have been enjoying. It's low carb, but it's not like super low carb. It has 30 net grams of carbs, which is better than like the regular bagels because the regular bagels have like 52. My skin is so oily, but it's because I didn't wear primer when I did my face. And I also didn't set it well, but it's okay. I'll, I'll fix it before I go to the gym. So pizza bagel, you take your bagels, cut it in half. And you're gonna get your pizza sauce. I'm using this pizza sauce. I think this is from, yep, it's from Whole Foods. This is like one of my favorite things. My little sister introduced me to this and it's just the simplest but most delicious little treat. So, sprinkle your, okay, sprinkle. Put some pizza sauce on there. More sauce. But how are you guys doing? How was your week? I hope your week went well. I hope Easter Sunday was well for you guys and your family. I hope you guys are all doing good. As for me, I am doing so well. Like life has been so good this year after starting off really bad, but so far it's going really well for me. We're going to top it off with some great value mozzarella cheese. Don't go too heavy handed because I'm still dieting. Y'all see, see why I said I ain't got no pants on? <laughs> but the shirt is long. I just came back from work and I took my pants off. Um, sprinkle your cheese on there. Can y'all see this? Yes. Sprinkle your cheese on there. I'm just guesstimating how much this cheese is, but I know it's definitely not more than half a cup-ish. All right. And then some pepperoni slices. Not too many, but enough. So. I think I'm gonna do like five or six per bagel. 
and I have to put all this down in my fitness pal because I'm getting really serious about tracking. So I've been trying to be one, two, three, four, five. I've been trying to be more consistent with logging my meals instead of just guessing because I really do want to get under 220 pounds this year. And I'm not going to get under if I keep ignoring counting my calories properly. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use the air fryer because it's easier and faster. You're just gonna place it in there. My air fryer is set on seven minutes and at 350 degrees. I'm probably gonna take it out after five minutes, but yeah. So because work, okay y'all, let me tell y'all how ghetto I am. So. I have like top like wine stoppers for when I open up a wine and I don't finish it, but they're all being used. I needed this to stay cool, so I kept it in the fridge, but I didn't have anything to like top it with, so I just used a piece of paper towel. I learned this from my mama. It's ghetto as hell, but whatever. I am about to have some Prosecco. This is the Issa Rae Prosecco. Absolutely delicious. I've been thinking about this since I was at work. Work was hard today, so I'm treating myself to a little glass of a little concoction. It's not that much left in here, but I'm gonna chill. And then I'm gonna add some zero sugar mango passion fruit mini made. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. You don't need that much. It's like a mimosa. You don't need that much. You need more prosecco than you need the, the mango juice. But you know, because I'm going to the gym and I'm trying to be a responsible adult, I'm gonna dilute it a little bit. But if we were at home for the night, yes. Cheers. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna buy some more wine stoppers or whatever you call that this weekend. And I'm gonna pick up some more of this because it's so good. Ooh. Okay, I don't think you guys, the only thing I hate about using my air fryer is sometimes it like sprays off my pepperoni. So I gotta come back, pick it up and put it on the damn bagel. But other than that, it gets the job done quickly. Honestly, you have to give this a try. Prosecco plus mango passion fruit, delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm about to log in my calories now. Let me send a picture to my friend because I've been telling them how I'm looking forward to this drink all day. Come on, what is this? The longer my nails grow, the harder it is for me to like use my phone and I don't like that. But I don't want to cut my nails down because when I cut my nails down, my fingers look childish. I don't know. It's a lot. But like I was saying, how are you guys doing? I know you've been seeing my face a lot more often and I'm happy you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Because your girl is trying. I'm trying. Oh, it's ready. I'm gonna use a paper plate because I don't feel like washing dishes. Okay, and here we are. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that later. I have to clean this weekend, so it's gonna get cleaned. All right, we are having a snack. Second snack. 647 bagel. Great value mozzarella cheese. Hormel pepperoni. We had 12 slices. And that's it, pizza sauce. Whole Foods pizza sauce. All right, that is 418 calories, and that's okay because I'm only at 1,000 calories for the day, so I'm good. For dinner, I'm going to be doing my turkey bolognese. I think I'm gonna do 10 ounces of turkey, and then the raw, the pasta that I have is like literally half a cup, like 50 grams, so. And I am still under my calories today. I'm about to add my protein shake. I'm gonna do one scoop. Um, I think I'm gonna do Dutch protein tonight. Dutch 
One scoop is 28 grams. That's 100 calories. And I still have a little bit left. So I'm going to do a rice cake. That's going to definitely like get me there or take me over just a little bit, which is fine. Perfect. And we're good. I get to have what it is that I want and still lose weight. Ow. I'm about to get back to my weight before I got injured. I feel like this month I'm probably going to pass last year's lowest, which is so exciting. Last year's lowest was 248 pounds. I started the year 283, got down to 248. The goal is to get under 220. I don't care where I sit. I can sit at 219.9 as long as I get under 220. Um, I feel like this month something in me is telling me this month. I'm probably gonna finish. I don't lose weight fast I lose body fat fast, but I don't lose weight fast this month I think I'm gonna fall under like 246. I think I'm gonna sit at 245 Which is fine because if I lose weight slowly, it means it's sticking. It's good and it's not um, It's not that temporary weight loss. I need permanent weight loss. So all is well Anyway, you guys know I don't like to eat on camera. I don't know why I'm going to eat my little pizza bagel, sit on the couch, and catch up on Warrior. It's a show I'm watching on HBO Max. Check it out. And I will see you guys before I go to the gym, for sure. Okay. Ignore what it is that I have on. I had to get comfortable. It is 6.30, so I'm about to start getting ready for the gym. I was washing the dishes because there were a little bit of dishes in the sink. So I had to wash those and I cleaned the shoes that I had in the living room because I had at least 10 to 12 pairs of shoes just sitting over there so I sprayed them down with some um disinfectant spray and I'm letting them air dry before I put them away but while they do that I'm gonna get ready because I gotta go I have to do an hour of cardio <laughs> anyway let's get dressed for the gym Tell me about this before last year. I hey y'all. All right, so I am back home. I went to help my friend out at the dealership because they had to drop their car off. They ended up not dropping the car off. So we just went and got breakfast. And then he told me to go get some tire wet for my car because my tires are dry. And apparently if your tires are dry, it can cause your tires to crack. I didn't know that. So I left and I went to Auto Parts to get some tire wet, weird ass name. And I got some other stuff that he told me I need for my car because I have leather seats and it's a way to protect your leather seats. It's honestly a lot. Then I decided, you know, my car is a little dusty. Let me go wash it. I was looking for touchless wa um, car washes because my best friend says I cannot use the regular car washes because they scratch the paint on your car. There are no touchless car washes in my neighborhood. None. Everything uses a machine and then it's wiped down. He said no machines, touchless, hand washing only. So there are none in my area, which means I'm probably going to have to find some tomorrow. Because I'm not going back out today. I am tired. I only got like five hours of sleep. I'm tired. So I am about to hop on the couch, chill for a little bit. Then I'm probably going to take my old car to a car wash, a regular car wash, if there's still time. Get it washed and clean so that when I drop it off at the mechanic for my sister, it's already clean and she doesn't have to do anything extra. But yeah, I'm exhausted. We did have breakfast, as you saw. The eggs were good. The greens were all right, but whatever. Um, I have a crick in my neck and it's killing me. That's why I just look so uncomfortable. Like I can do this, but if I have to turn this way, I gotta turn my whole body. I don't know how I did it because I was just laying on my pillow, but whatever. Anyway, I'm about to just hop on the couch and take a quick nap. Afterwards, we're gonna figure out what we wanna do for the day. Today might actually be a just stay at home day because I just don't feel like going out. Every time I go out, I spend money. I'm tired of spending money. I'm tired of spending money, so yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I did not come back on yesterday because I did nothing. I slept on the couch. Woke up, walked to the restaurant to get some food. Came back, ate, chilled, and went to bed. I did nothing that was worth documenting. 
the food was okay. There, it was not worth documenting. I was so tired. It wasn't even because I woke up early. It's just, again, being a woman, ovulation, around that time, I suffer from fatigue, like the worst fatigue. And it just, it just took over yesterday. So I went to bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Then I woke up at like 2 a.m. Stayed up till like 4 a.m. And then I went back to sleep. Woke up around 7.45. I just got out the shower. I'm doing laundry. I'm stripping my bed because I fell asleep in the little makeup that I wore yesterday and it got all over. So I'm trying to wash it before it sticks to anything. But yeah, um, I'm sorry. Okay, happy Sunday. I'm about to turn on the TV because church should be starting. They should be doing praise and worship. So I'm gonna turn on the TV and make some coffee. I want some iced coffee. I've been craving iced coffee. Um, I'm in my workout clothes because after church, well, not my top, but after church, I'm gonna head to the gym and then head to my parents' house so I can tell my papa about my new car and also show it to my mom. And then, um, yeah, that's it. So today's not really a crazy day for me. Just gym, maybe the car wash, if I can make it in time. My parents' house and then coming back home. I do need to grocery shop, but I can do that today or tomorrow. It's not mandatory that I do it today because I do have some stuff at home. I just want to fill up my fridge and my cabinets for the next two weeks. But other than that, I'm really okay. I don't really need too much. Um, ignore my washer. Y'all know it be sounding crazy. I have like four loads of laundry to do. I woke up today looking and feeling slim. Let me show y'all. <laughs> Feeling slim, child. You see that? You see, look at the back muscles. Ugh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. I have the worst crick in my neck, and when I flex, the crick hurts, and then the pain that I have in my glute also hurts. When I say getting older sucks, it really sucks. I haven't seen the massage therapist that I normally go to since I had my injury last year. And I need to go see her because if I see her, she's gonna probably like be able to help with a lot of what it is that I'm experiencing. But it's just so much money, so much money. And I'm just like, bruh, money don't grow on trees, y'all. It don't grow on trees. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna do some serious foam rolling and mobility work. But other than that, she gonna have to hold on because money don't grow on trees, I'm sorry. And then it's like, pick your nails or pick, well now that my nails are done for the next four weeks, I honestly could book a massage, like a deep tissue massage. So I'd probably do that at the end of this month because the bills that are coming up within this week, I can't play with them. I'm getting my first bill for my car note. We're not playing with that. That's gonna be paid on time. That's gonna be paid on time and then half of the rent is gonna be saved. You know, that's how I do things. I pay my bills one time even early if i can just so that the money is like out of sight out of sight out of mind is what works for me i don't know about others but that's how i do it but anyway let me let me finish looking presentable moves today across all our physical locations we are celebrating people taking steps through at our new york pop up our last pop up i got a chance to really now i'm gonna be honest with you as a dad as a fan man this just hit different i might have gotten just a little emotional in the tank but I wanted to share this on May 5th. We are so pumped and excited to tell you about it. We want to show you. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the breakfast bowl. I have chicken. Get the words out. Salsa, reduced fat cheese, one piece of hash brown patty, and in the bottom is just the egg whites. And this is my little makeshift Chipotle hash brown bowl. It's a lot healthier has a lot more protein, and it's just as delicious, you know? So I'm about to eat this with my iced coffee. I just put in my second load of laundry, so things are moving well. I'm hoping I can get the third one in before I head out of the house. Um, but yeah, I am about to just eat and then grab my iPad because I've decided I need to start taking notes during service. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wow. Pastor Steven is preaching. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. Church is over. The message was amazing. The Holy Spirit is your helper. He is your ghostwriter. 
your story um, you have not reached the end and the Holy Spirit is there to guide you when you are starting to fall for this devil's lies you know really great message because sometimes you label yourself as a failure and you're not truly a failure it's just Satan whispering all that nonsense in your ear but if you would allow the Holy Spirit he will guide you and remove all that clutter and just rewrite your story and honestly I think the one thing that stood out the most was comparison because sometimes we're comparing ourselves to people who are even in our lives our friends and we don't realize that how we look at their lives it's through a filter so you're not truly seeing what it is that they're going through because they're showing you what it is that they want you to see yes they're your friends that doesn't mean anything sometimes people don't want you to be in their mess and it's not because they don't trust you it's because they just don't want you to see them in that vulnerable state you know so it's a really really great message i took notes and it's a new series that the pastor is starting he started today in acts one the entire chapter he didn't go through the whole chapter but i am going to try and read the chapter tonight keyword here is try i'm not even gonna hold you i'm gonna try and read the chapter tonight um on my own just so i can keep up with the series that he started but great service nonetheless great word pastor stephen Furtick is just really really blessed um so yeah i am the third load of laundry which is just towels and washcloths is in the machine that is the last load so I'm just folding the one that left the dryer. Being an adult, folding. Am I gonna put it away before I go to the gym? More than likely not, but at least it's folded. And because it's on my bed, I can't go to sleep and I can't move it to the living room. So I'm gonna have to put it away when I get home. So yeah, that's a trick. I'm not gonna push this off either because it's folded. If it was not folded and it was on my bed, I would just push it to one side and sleep on the other side. But because it's folded, child, I'm not unfolding this because I need to go to sleep. I'm going to put it away. So that's a little secret right there, you know? Nobody wants to push folded clothes away. So yeah. Oh my God, I wore the Shea Moisture, that deodorant that they just came out with. Yo, when I say that deodorant is trash, I'm going to... So my, my favorite Dove deodorant is finished. Like, I have like crumbles left. I'm about to go take some of the crumbles in my hand and rub it into my underarms because... I don't know what it is that I'm smelling, but I don't like it. I took a shower. There's no reason I should be getting hints of, oh, you might have some body. Uh-uh. I ain't even work out yet. I am not in the business of smelling bad. My mama did not raise me like that. So, yeah. I'm definitely buying some deodorant before I come home today. And if not today, I'm waking up early to buy some tomorrow. Because this is not okay. Everybody who is putting on for this new Shea Moisture's deodorant, Y'all are lying to these folks. I'm sorry. I'm not in the business of lying to nobody. Influencer. Y'all can do whatever y'all want with, with, with your platform. But on my little platforms, we are not lying. I'm sorry. That deodorant does not hold. Plus, it's so waxy that when you have when you have to get in the shower and take a shower, you have to put so much soap in your underarms to wash it off because of so much wax. Absolutely not. It's giving aluminum free. And baby, we do all aluminum over here because guess what? We are not in the business of smelling. So yeah. Um, once I fold this, I'm going to head to the gym. I don't really have anything else. Actually, I want to wash the dishes that are in the sink. It's just the stuff that I used to make breakfast today. I want to at least clean that out and then put the trash out because I don't know if I'll get back home in time to set the trash off for valet trash pickup. So I just want the trash outside so I don't miss it because there's some veggies in my trash and they're starting to smell. So I need him to take it out today. Um, what else? I'm going to take out some chicken and leave it out to thaw in the fridge. If I don't meal prep today, at least it's going to be thawed. I can season it and cook tomorrow. And yeah, today is just going really well. Like, it's been a great Sunday so far. Super productive. I got a phone call from some guy. Remember the guy? If y'all watched the last vlog, I went to the movies with some guy. Um, this guy who's trying to talk to me. I'm learning more and more. He's low-key a narcissist. Like, like if I don't hit him up like to check on him, he was like, hey, 
I haven't heard from you in two days. You didn't even check if I got to work safely. You're a man. Like, stand up. You didn't check on me. Why, why do I need to check on you? We're not even in a relationship. We're literally just, like, texting. And, and we've gone out once. What is your problem? Like, dude, relax. Um, so I'm literally about to tell him today, like, lose my number. Because you're a narcissist. He's not going to own up to it. But I know for a fact he's a narcissist. Because he just feels like he is just the most important person in the world. And he needs to occupy so much space in your life. And honey, the only person that occupies space in my life is me. You know, God is there. But God is my entire life. But after that, the only living person that can occupy space in my life is me. Not even my family can occupy my life. You know, my family is there. I love my family. I will do whatever I can for my family. So I dropped my little laundry ball. So I had to find it. Um, yeah, but I'm just like, dude, absolutely not. The kind of guy I want to date is a guy who checks in on me. Good morning, sweetheart. How was your day, sweetheart? Did you get in safely? Did you drive to work safely? Like I want somebody who cares about me. Of course, I'm gonna text the guy also to make sure all is well with him. But if I'm not vibing with you, I'm not about to extend myself to you for what? Like, no. So he feels like super important because we've been like talking for like two weeks now. Two weeks. Two weeks. That's exactly why you're single. Nobody wants to deal with your nonsense because you're crazy. So yeah, I'm about to give him a call back and be like, dude, mm -mm. we are not compatible. We will never be compatible. You have a lot of work to do. And I know as soon as I tell him, he's like, I'm not going to tell him flat out that he's a narcissist, but I'm going to tell him like, you really feel so important and you're not like, I barely know you. Why, why do you feel like you are literally that important? Why? Y'all, so I'm losing weight and my drawers got too small. I just ordered some new ones. These seamless underwear from Amazon, they're absolutely the truth. They're so good. I love them. But they're too big for me now. So I sized down and ordered some more because they're just really, really good. And they're truly seamless. Sometimes these websites will be telling you seamless and then you put the underwear on and it's not seamless. It's very seamy. You can see the seams. And when I wear my tights to the gym, I don't need nobody knowing what kind of drawers I got on, what kind of pattern. I don't want them to think I'm walking around butt ass naked either. But I don't need y'all to be my business. Like, I don't need you in my business. And you know, sometimes your underwear bunches up. I hate it. So, yeah. Seamless is the way to go, girls. I mean, ladies, I'm sorry not to call you guys girls because y'all are grown women. And if they are girls watching my channel, go seamless, honey. You will not regret it. I don't buy Victoria's Secret underwear anymore because they don't last. Like, they do not last at all. Victoria's Secret is a joke. I still have some of their bras because they haven't failed me, but their underwear, mm -mm. the stitching starts coming apart. Some of them shrink. And if you wear their thongs, half of your coochie be hanging out. So, Victoria's Secret, you are not the girl. You are not it. Let me put on some deodorant because I just, I feel like the more movement I'm making, the more I'm smelling. Oh, absolutely not. Never again. I just threw that last one. This was a PR package that they sent to me. I was really pressed to get it. Then when I tried the first one, the first one is supposed to be like Dove's um, deodorant where it like helps with the hyperpigmentation under your armpit. It did nothing. Armpits are still dark. It's fine. I can't help it. It is what it is. The day somebody tells me they care, I'm going to tell them to pay for it to change. If you care about the color of my armpits, pay for me to go get some procedure that will change it. Till then, shut up. Anyway, I got the PR package. It had like three deodorants in it. Tried the first one, hated it. Actually, was it three or two? I don't know. Tried it, hated it because I kept wearing it. And then when I would take a shower, I felt like I was scrubbing my armpits so hard. And I was like, what is this? Narrowed it down. It's the deodorant. It's the deodorant. It has so much wax in it. That when it comes time to like take a shower, mind you, I use soap and then I use body wash when I take a shower every day. Soap first, body wash second. I was in there with my little African sponge scrubbing the hell out of my armpits. I was like, absolutely not. Did this, this, what? I shouldn't have to walk, work, work this hard um, to get deodorant off. I shouldn't. Absolutely not. What? No. So, yeah, I threw it away and I kept one and I was like, you know, let me try it again because I see all these influencers raving about it. Like, maybe I did something wrong. I did nothing wrong except tell the truth. 
and they probably watching this like yeah we're never gonna offer you anything again that's fine if y'all don't like people who tell the truth that's your business not mine do better um but yeah it sucks and if somebody tells you otherwise they're lying they are i need a hoodie for the gym i think i'm gonna wear this oversized one from nike I really need to buy some more hoodies so that they go with my fit because this does not go with my outfit at all. I'm gonna go with this one. This one is a little snug, just a little bit. It's a little snug. So that's why I avoid wearing it, but I think I should be able to fit it better now that I've lost a few pounds. But it's a little snug. Sometimes. I be feeling like one wrong movement and it's going to bust open. See? I can't even get my head. I know I got a big head, but damn. I'm not laying down my edges today because I really just don't care. Again, if you got a problem with it, come do it yourself. That is a... Okay, maybe I do need to lay it down a little bit because... They looking a little rough. Um, But yeah, it's not that bad. It fits better. When I say it was snug, it was like... But it fits better because I've lost a few of the weight I gained. So yeah, this is this is good. All right, let me go lay these edges. I'll be right back. All right, I did a quick little something. It's nothing spectacular, but it'll do. We're just going to the gym, like please. Um, give it a little assistance to help it lay down better. I have a package downstairs from Amber, Amber Crombie. I did a refund. I said refund. Uh, exchange for some pants that I ordered. I ordered some jeans during the 20% off sale, like beginning of March. Maybe end of April, end of February, beginning of March. And they came and they were huge. I've lost weight, but I don't know how much weight I've lost. I'm literally always ordering stuff too big. They came and they were like huge. So I sent it back for an exchange. Something in me is telling me these are still going to be big. So I feel like I want to find a store and go to the store and do an exchange rather than send it back. Because their exchange process is so long. It's like five weeks. Who got five weeks to wait for an exchange? Like, I want my jeans now. So, yeah, I'm going to pick that up. I'm not going to try it on until we come back home because I just need to go to the gym. Like, I know all the old heads are going to be the occupying space. So I'm going to have to just be like, hoodie up and get it through, get it done. Um, but, yeah. Where are my socks? I'm talking so fast because I had a lot of coffee. Like when I say I had a lot of coffee, I had a lot of coffee, a lot. Um, should I have? No, but am I gonna use this caffeine? Absolutely. White socks, we're putting on white socks. I don't think you guys necessarily need to see this, but if you want to, hold on a moment. I will show you. Ugh. I'm gonna wear my Asics. I have been loving my Asics. Absolutely loving them. So I've decided that I'm good. Don't do that. I've decided that I'm gonna get more because they're just so great. Let me show you guys what it is that I'm wearing to the gym. This is the fit. Oh, I actually look so cute. I actually look really cute. So I gotta put this away when I get home. Am I gonna do it? I don't know. Um, y'all see the chaos? Y'all see this? Let me just show y'all my house and how chaotic it looks. That's recycling. Look, look at this. So I'm doing a 30 day sneaker series on my fit lifestyle and um, what's that page called? My lifestyle and fashion page. These are the sneakers that I've been wearing for the past two weeks and I just sanitized and de disinfected them. That's why they're laying on the sides. I haven't put them away. I need to put them away, but yeah, so the house is absolutely chaotic. So I'm gonna wash what's left in the sink plus the frying pan. This is, I'm gonna leave this, this, this is just gonna stay as is because I just don't have time. But yeah, this is what the bed is looking like. And I need to come home and strip my bed and wash my sheets because I fell asleep with my makeup on like I told y'all. And there is makeup on my duvet, like insert. It's, where is it? Yeah, yeah right here. Y'all see that? That is makeup. Now, how did it get to the bottom? I don't know how I slept. All I know is I slept and I need to wash that. Don't think any otherwise. That's just makeup. Okay? Your girl is not dirty. Don't do that. But anyway, um, I am about to wash. I need to put on some earrings. 
I'm about to wash those dishes and then head out. I will catch you guys possibly at the gym if I record anything. If. Heavy on the if. Alright, it looks a little better. I cleared off the table just a little bit. My recording equipment stays in there. That's why it's on the table. But dishes are done. I cleared off and I cleared off the stove. Wiped down the countertops. And yeah, time to go. Alright, I am finishing my cardio. And I'm gonna head to my mama's house. So it's my parents actually like recording the car for me and taking pictures. It's so funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, I started recording it. Go ahead, Ma. You want me to record on your phone? Uh, my finger. Mm hmm. I'm home. I am home. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that little glance at my culture. My parents blessed my car. Super duper grateful. Um, a lot of people don't understand the significance for that. And yeah, my parents came here from Cameroon. Um, and all they wanted was for us to be successful. So to see, for them to see us doing so well, it just makes them really happy and really proud. Um, and even my dad, I was really shocked because my dad is somebody you can't really read. You don't know how he's gonna like, um, how he's gonna, I don't know, respond to stuff, but he was, his enthusiasm and his excitement um, was really comforting and it was really like, I just loved it because sometimes I can't tell what he's like thinking. Um, but to see his excitement for me was really, really special. Like when I drove up and I told my mom to come outside and see the car and she just came and then he popped around the corner and he was like, wow. And then he popped around the corner and he was like, <laughs> it was just so funny and I wish I caught it on camera, but I didn't. But either way, I'm just happy that they um, approve of the car and like it as much as I do. And yeah, I just wanna continue making them proud. So, yeah. Um, my order from Amber Crombie got here and the jeans fit a hundred times better. Oh my gosh, these, these look so good. Like, let me show y'all. Look at these. Like, they fit my butt, it's a little baggy back there. But other than that, they fit so, okay, this is better. They fit so well. I wish the lighting in my apartment was better. Excuse my belly. I just finished eating. My mom made some um, vegetable with some fufu. And I ate a little bit of fufu and I ate a lot of vegetable. And yeah, but the jeans. Oh, I am so happy about this. These are a 34, I believe. Yep. They're a 34, 18 long. 
it's the curve love and i'm so happy i kept the curve my friend was like maybe you need to order regular i was like no girl i got curves it's there don't do that okay these are the second pair they they look pretty much the same but they're not um these i could have maybe gone down one more size because they're like loose but honestly i'm gonna keep it like this if it gets bigger i'm just gonna get the waist taken in i really like the legs on these i would show y'all but my toes look horrible let me put some shoes on okay so this is why i like the legs like i like the um i don't know the undone material i don't know what you call that but i just really like it because i feel like once summer comes in if i wear them with like sneakers even with like flats and heels It'll look great. I'm probably still going to go get them taken in because this ruching right here, this is probably one of the ugliest things when you wear jeans to me. Like, it is just so ugly. So I'm going to see if they can take in, take it in a little bit for me because I'm not sending these back for an exchange. I, I just can't. Now, if I do look up and I see an Abercrombie in the area, I might go in and like physically exchange it myself. <sighs> but to mail this back and do another exchange and it take like another two weeks i just can't i need jeans for work and yeah but these are super cute i did have one more pair these were the salon pants trousers those are back ordered so i have to wait for those to get delivered a different day but i'm really happy with this i'm glad i went down to a 34 because i think i originally ordered a 38 i don't know so overall i'm a happy camper like my order was great Jesus Christ, do you see that? Ah. Even my little baby bicep is popping. And today I did not do arms, okay? I did not do arms today. This is crazy. I messed up so I was washing my towels in my room and I put this in the machine I forgot that I was washing my robe with my colorful towels my robe is white so I put this in the machine to help get the makeup that I had on there off y'all it bleached the crap out of my towels like my towels look you would think i had like tie-dye towels no 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 honey these are not tie-dye these are a big mistake you can't really see this one too much but actually you can i messed up okay four towels absolutely ruined absolutely ruined am i gonna buy new towels absolutely not because they're still clean Somebody asked, I'm gonna tell them. See, the only one that didn't get messed up entirely, this one. It bleached everything else. I'm just shocked at my own craziness. But I folded the second load. This is the last load that I did before I left the house. I think I'm gonna pause the movie. I'm watching the Bob Marley movie. I think I'm gonna pause it and take a shower and then sit down and watch it because I just wanna take a shower so that I'm ready for bed. I need to wake up early tomorrow so I can prep for this interview that I have. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, that's all. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'll be back. For sure. All right. 
I am about to go to bed, as you can see, because I got my old lady nightgown on. But this is like one of the most comfortable nightgowns I have. Got it from Walmart so many years ago, but it still serves me well. Um, what else? The movie was great. Shower was great. I cleared my bed and I put those clothes away. So whoop whoop. Now the clothes that I folded, they're still on the couch on the ottoman. I will get to that tomorrow after I do cardio. I might actually do a spend a day with me tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. If I do, you're going to see and you're going to know. But anyways, I'm about to end the vlog here because it is 11.08 and your girl needs to get her beauty sleep. <laughs> I have an interview tomorrow. Hopefully I have some good news for you guys the next time I do a weekend vlog, you know. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for everything that you do to support me in my little corner on YouTube. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Peace.